Hello, hello, everybody. It's Derek Freese. I want the TV to turn off so I don't get the copyright kind. Uh, today, for reviewing pleasures, is GPX Boombox. This thing's actually quite small. I never realized how small it was until recently, but here's my hand compared to it. This is a this midget. Um, nothing too special. I got this, I think, around 2015, 2016-ish. And it's cracked. It's taken a few falls. I take this thing camping with me every year. Works good. I've written all over it, but... It's a cheap boombox. I'm surprised it's held up for so long, especially with it being of this brand name. Again, this is off, so I'll probably zoom in a bit. I'm trying a different camera setup because my normal tripod mount broke, so I'm actually using a cell phone this time and a blower wheel out of a Newtone exhaust fan, and sadly. My ceiling light is giving glare on the screen, so we'll turn that off. I don't think it's that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. Uh, the screen is backlit on this, but sometimes it doesn't want to backlight, so we'll see if it works. So uh, we'll do FM first. Now it doesn't want to be backlit today. stop and listen to some Garth Brooks. This thing's okay with sound. It's better than a Dura brand. I will say that. It's digital tuning. Ooh, Taylor Swift. I'm not sure if we'll get anything on the AM band. You can see the back light on the screen starting to work. That's just Chinese quality for you. It doesn't want to work. I don't know. Yeah, it works. I think it's a loose connection. I'll probably have to go in there and solder something back onto the board because this thing's so cheap. We're online at buffalowildwings.com and we'll deliver it to your door. That's right. You can have speed ups delivered right to your tailgate party. Just log on to buffalowildwings.com, place your order, and select delivery. The I don't really know. It's so cheaply made. Like, they didn't even try when making this. But, it's okay. I have to say, the plastic on this isn't that bad. But this one has always been good at tuning in AM. So, let's try a compact disc. I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm in a basement right now, so I may have to make another video of trying to tune in some radios in the future in the upstairs. I used to use this thing. This was my second boombox I ever owned. My first one. Yeah. This big beast here, which I'm not sure if I'll show up on camera or not. It's a squony. This one still works. So, uh, we'll, I'm not sure if you can see. This display never used to be this finicky, but I guess it is. CD still works. Also go back to twelve on this one. 
some reason I have a low battery light when I don't even have any batteries in here. And we have our play. I will turn down that so I don't get a copyright strike. I'll have to get a CD that doesn't have copyrighted music. I don't have anything currently. Um, I think the next thing to do is we'll try out our aux or auxiliary function. We have a aux port here on the side. So if you have like a iPod or something, you can play music off of that. So we'll be back shortly. Well, let's try the aux function. That works. So, yeah. I don't really have anything else to really test. I have to say, tuning on this is actually decent. This one, unlike a lot of the other radios I've owned, this one actually picks up a lot of the AM bands a lot better than some of my other ones. Um, at least in terms of boomboxes. I'm not sure how my cost does on picking up AM bands, because I've actually never tried doing AM with that one. But this one, for sure, I think out of all my radios, this one's actually the best with picking up AM. So, I will say that. It's actually even better than one of the radios I have that can only do AM. So... That's all for today. Actually, I'm probably going to do a few others. I just have to find a, a test cassette tape for the Squony. And I think I'll probably do that one today as well. So thank you very much for watching. Keep the breeze.